All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Sean here, obviously. And we're going to show you how to get more FPS in GTA 5 with an asterisk. We'll get to that in a bit. But if you heard a DLSS, you got an RTX card, you can turn it on. It basically lowers the render resolution, increases sharpness to give you more FPS without you noticing the loss of image quality from the lower resolution. AMD's got a similar feature called FSR 2.0. It's not in many games, but it is open source. People have implemented it into different games like Cyberpunk, Control, and also GTA 5. I got it from this YouTube video right here. This guy right here made it. His name is Naruto UA. And I also saw this guy. He talks about it as well. Good guy. Didn't see his video, but good guy. Uh, but in all the descriptions, you go into the GitHub here, download it. Very simple to implement. All you gotta do is put this D3D11 DLL file and this INI file into your GTA 5 directory and then launch the game. So. We're in a 5M server right now. See it our next generation, obviously. It's going to be in the description. Not native GTA 5, but it's close enough. Uh, so anyway, the first thing here is, what's very important is you have to be as GPU limited as possible. And GTA 5 is kind of known for weird implementation. Of course, newer games, your GPU usage is always going to be very high if you're graphic settings are high, but it usually depends on where you are on the map with GTA 5. So what we want to do is get as GPU limited as possible. So see the graphics here, they're mostly high or very high with the, oh. all right, technical difficulties, great. So we're back. So first thing we're going to look at the graphic settings here, they are all very high, max, whatever it is. But we want to be as GPU limited as possible. So we're going to turn MSAA to times eight. So we're going to increase the GPU usage from what it is at 73% to 900%. So right now I want to be in a position where we can see down a large area of the map right here. So right now we're at 124 FPS. The advanced settings are all off, by the way. But as you can see here in this INI file, it does show the settings right here. So sharpness will be automatically put onto the image as you go lower in render resolution. So first we're going to try ultra quality mode, which it says 0.883 here, but we're playing at 1440p. So we're going to go out render resolution and lower it down to 5 sixth. So let's go back. Let's go back and see what our FPS is right now. It's at 124, 125. And we're going to see what happens when we lower the render resolution to 5 sixth. You can see there we go from 125 to 149. Well, the mid 140s, high 140s. So, with that setting alone, now there's no sharpness added to this, as you saw in the text file, but we just added about 25 FPS from going down one notch in render resolution. So, let's keep on going. So this is ultra quality. Let's go to the quality setting, which is rendered in 1080p. And as I keep going down this, just look at the image quality. Okay, the shadow's messing it up, but just look at the image quality and see if you can tell a big difference between native 1440p and what it is right now. Of course, YouTube compression, blah, blah, blah. But with the step down in resolution we just added some more fps up to 162 so let's keep on going down with this 
This is two thirds, so balanced as they show in the text file. And with this one, we didn't really gain any FPS. I think we lost FPS right there. So of course it depends on the area of the map as well, but as you keep going lower in render resolution, you become less and less GPU bound as now we're at 93%, 91% usage. So the further away you get from full GPU usage, the less FPS you're going to get from lowering the render resolution. Now we're gonna go to one half and now I think you can see a difference in picture quality but you didn't gain any FPS off of this, but you're getting less and less GPU bound. Again, the less GPU bound you get, the less FPS you gain as you lower the render resolution. So it is increasing sharpness here. Well, I can't really tell, but you can definitely tell the lower image quality for sure. All right, so let me go back to the asterisk part right here, and this is kind of a bad example, but there are some areas in GTA 5 where you get low FPS and low GPU usage. I can't find an area off the top of my head right now, but right now we're at 70% GPU usage, 145 FPS. If I try to do the same thing, the last time you saw, you gained, or I gained about 28 FPS going from this resolution to the ultra quality setting. Now let's try it again, but not as we're GPU bound, not being GPU bound. So I do that, and the FPS stayed the same. So and as we keep on going, with this, no matter how much I lower the render resolution, the FPS stays. I mean, we did gain a few right there, but the FPS for the most part stays in the 140s range. Let's just keep it, keep going down. In fact, let's go down to performance mode. And again, you add a couple, but as you can see here, as you are less GPU bound, the less FPS that you get. Now let's try it again. Put MSAA up to times. Let's turn on FXA this time. And we're at 105 FPS and we're GPU bound. Now, the video is stuttering. Again, it does not matter. You can still see the FPS uh, on the screen, but again, we're, we're at 104. Change the render resolution to 5.6 or ultra quality. And the FPS goes up from 102 to 134. And we're still at 99%. And of course the video is stuttering. But again, I can't say this enough. The more GPU bound you are, the more FPS you're going to get, which means the way that you get GPU bound is to increase your graphic settings. That's the only way that's going to work. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into some benchmarks of some FPS comparisons with these quality settings. And I promise you the video is not going to stutter.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I'm using the adrenaline software to record so that we don't have any stutters here, but I want to ride the point home a little bit more. I'm using the NVE mod, it is the medium preset, and we have turned down or turned up all of the settings to maximum to ride this point home. I think you get it already. We've put the advanced graphics to max it as well. Right now, we are getting 46 FPS. We are probably as GPU bound as we can ever be. Probably not the best area for it, but 99% GPU usage. We're looking down a very broad, well, not really area, but you see downtown. But again, we're getting 46 FPS. Let us mess with the render resolution yet again and go to the ultra quality setting. We're at 45 FPS. We have gone up to mm, 57, I was gonna say 58, but 57. Oh, let's say 58. All right, there's, we, gained, we gained some good FPS. Now we are still GPU bound. So let's keep on going and if uh, to see if we can find a setting we are where we are not GPU bound anymore. So let's move on to quality. 1080p right here. And we kept the same FPS, but we're no longer GPU bound. So again, the GPU usage is at 76%. Now it's fluctuating. Well, the game's at 88%, so let's just go with that. But we have stopped being GPU bound, which means no matter how much I lower this, the FPS is not going to increase. So we're still 59. So that'll basically end the video here. I'll make another video possibly using NVE going through the city, probably not using the advanced settings. But more of the story here is you only get more FPS if you're GPU bound, as if you were playing a AAA game where you're almost always GPU bound, but GTA 5 is a really CPU bound game, so there are many situations where FSR 2.0 does not help. But experiment with it the way you like, and put a comment or something. Then we're Sean. See ya.